I'm Elise and you're watching the brand new I Fucking Love Science YouTube show. So I'm here today to give you a rundown of all the exciting things that have happened in science over the last week. First up, New Zealand officials have issued flight permits for manned jetpack flights. Yes, seriously. A company that have fully functional jetpacks ready to go into production that are expected to go on sale in 2014. They're going to be able to fly for about 30 minutes on 5 gallons of gas and they're expected to cost about $100,000. So sadly, a little bit out of my price range. Next up, brains. You've probably heard people tell you that they're either a left or right brain thinker depending on whether they consider themselves to be logical and analytical or creative and intuitive. You might even have taken a test online to find out which side of the brain is dominant for you. It turns out this is a complete myth. There's no dominant side of the brain. We've known this for a while now, but a study that's published this week confirmed this yet again by examining the brains of a thousand people using functional MRIs as they perform different tasks. They found that while different halves of the brain were absolutely activated for different types of tasks, in not a single one of the thousand participants in the study was a dominant half of the brain detected. Have you ever pestered your parents for extra attention or gifts? You might want to watch out for that because they might decide to borrow a trick from the burrowing beetle and eat you instead. A study published this week found that some beetle mothers will devour their offspring that nag them for food too much. This supposedly encourages the offspring only to nag when they're genuinely hungry and to not try and push the other siblings out so they all get equal attention from their parents. A newly discovered exoplanet was announced this week. Kepler 78b is just 700 light years away from Earth and has one of the shortest known orbits of any exoplanet discovered. It orbits its host star in just seven and a half hours. And due to its proximity to its host star, scientists have estimated that its surface temperature could be as high as 3000 degrees Kelvin. Next, a new carnivorous mammal has been discovered for the first time since 1978. The newly discovered Olingito resembles a bear and is about the size of a small raccoon. It strongly resembles its close relative, the Olingo, and a female Olingito was sent to several zoos as a part of an Olingo mating program before they figured out that they were dealing with an entirely new species. Finally, my bizarre story of the week, a Chinese zoo successfully posed a Tibetan Mastiff dog as a lion. Customers fully believed they were looking at a lion until it started to bark, at which point they started questioning the zoo workers. As hilarious as this is, it makes a really interesting point about what we expect to see versus what we're actually looking at. Studies have found that the context surrounding what we're looking at is actually more important than the evidence of our own eyes, and can in some cases override what we're actually looking at. So if you're looking in a lion enclosure, in a zoo, you'll see a lion even if what you're actually looking at is a dog. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.